Hi everyone, it's Cajun DIY Diva today. We're going to make a an apron out of a men's dress shirt. Um, these are great because, especially if someone is a little bit big busted, those regular aprons that you get, those canvas aprons, that type, don't really cover that well. And depending on the fabric you use, um, the fabric of your shirt, it this is like a, a very quality cotton shirt. Um, you can get um, men's shirts at thrift stores sometimes for a dollar, sometimes for 50 cents at a garage sale. And um, they're just great. And I like to use a long sleeve shirt because I use the sleeve to make pockets. But you can make this with a short sleeve men's shirt. You just um, might have to use, um, do the pocket in a different way or don't put a pocket. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is, oh, and I'm going to embellish. I'm going to decorate it and make it cute. So this shirt was a nice pink color, and I thought black would set it off really cute. So this flower is, um, it can either pin on or it can go in your hair. I got it at Hobby Lobby. I think it was in the hair accessories. But um, I'm going to pin it on just to give it a cute little decoration, and I also have some black rickrack um, that I'm going to use to embellish. And um, you can use pretty much any kind of ribbon or decorative trim that you want to use. I think it would be cute to, you know, really bling it up. Maybe use some rhinestones or something like that. So I'm going to put these aside. And we're going to get started. The first thing I like to do is, if there's any, um, sometimes around the the pocket or the on the sleeve or sometimes right here on the bottom of the shirt they'll have extra buttons. I like to go ahead and take those off because they're just not necessary and they kind of get in the way. And then I also like if there's any tags around the bottom of the shirt take those off too. It only matters you're not really using the back of the shirt so it only matters if they're in the front part of the shirt. So first thing I'm going to do is cut the sleeves off and I'm cutting them off close to the seam because uh, I you don't have much space right here next to this pocket on the front so I want to cut them off pretty close to the seam I'm going to set these aside and save them for later, the sleeves. Now, um, most men's shirts... Alright, sorry about that. I had a little problem with my camera. Um, so, I'll pick up where I left off. Most of these men's shirts have a really nice French seam on the side seams, which is a double reinforced seam. So, if you want to, save yourself a step of hemming the side seam, you can just cut it really super, super close to this edge and that way you won't even have to hem the side seam. I know I make these pregnant pauses when I'm talking. I don't really mean to do that. It's just something that, I don't know, something about the way I talk. Okay, and you also want to make sure that you're cutting that seam on the back side of the seam, not on the front side. So let's do the other side. And I'm just cutting it super close, and I can come back after and make sure I trim up any loose threads or anything. But it absolutely will not ravel once you trim up all the little threads that are left. Okay, so now I'll just spread the shirt out like this. Okay, I had another camera problem, but hopefully it's all resolved now. So, the next thing I want to do is to take 
my shirt and I'm going to do a diagonal line from about an inch below the armhole to come up right up here right around the neck. So I'm just going to eyeball it and then I'm going to turn it on the other side so that they're both even. And I'll put the other one there so that I can mark it. Now you could get a ruler and draw yourself a chalk line or something. But I'm pretty good at eyeballing things, so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to leave about an inch around the collar just to turn it under. And um, you can like get rid of the tag, the neck tag, if you want to. If it gets in your way. Okay, so now when I'm on the collar, and I'm gonna fold it even with the other side, so that both sides, so that the um, where it comes around, the straps will be even on both sides, and it'll be kind of straight. So I'm just gonna lay it out flat. Straighten it, get everything smooth, and then I'm going to use this side as a template. Making sure I have the bottoms lined up and the sides lined up. And you could put pins on here to secure it if you want to, if you want to make it perfect, but it's not really that necessary. And when it's all done, it'll look good. You mainly just want for the sides to be even so that your shirt is even on both sides. So this is the body of your apron now. Okay, now to make the straps, I take the back of the shirt and I go to the middle of it and I'll put one snip right in the middle, another snip about five inches away from the middle, and an equal length away from the middle. And then I'm going to tear it. I'm making the straps, the tie backs. It's just easier to tear it like this. You get some strings, some threads, loose threads, but they're easy to cut off or pull off. Okay. Okay, so I have my, my straps two separate straps and what I like about this is I'm just going to pull some of these strings off is one end is already hemmed for you so you don't have to worry about it about hemming that end and I'm all about saving time and effort so the way I like to make my tie backs is I would press this in half I'm not going to show you all of that you can do it I'll press it in half like this and then I'll take the top half and the bottom half and make the ends meet in the middle like this and then fold them back together and pin it and I'm just pinning it for now because I am going to press it but I'm just pinning it now to show you. And I would pin it all the way down on this end too and sew a seam very close to this edge. Um, about an eighth of an inch away from this edge. Very close to this edge. And that seam will stay. 
and you do that on both of them. Now, on the shirt part, on the front part of the shirt, what we're going to do is take, um, we're going to hem around the neckline. So we're going to fold this over once, about a quarter of an inch, press it, and fold it over again, press it, and you don't need to see me press it and then just pin it in place and you're going to sew a seam right there. You're going to go all the way around. You're going to fold this in around the edge, around the collar, go all the way around to this side. Just keep doing that hem all the way around. Alright, I'm going to do that and then I'll come back. Okay, so I I've sewn my straps, my tie backs, and you see how it makes a finished edge with the hem that was already there from the shirt hem. So we'll put those aside, and then here is my shirt. And I am going to press this seam down one more time, um, but I did a nice finished seam all the way around on this side. So the next thing I'm going to do is Move that to the side. I'm going to show you how I make the pockets. So I'm going to use the sleeves of the shirt. And here's what I'm going to do. I forgot my scissors over there. Grab my scissors. Yep, here they are. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to trim the sleeve off right underneath this little placket. I'm going to give it about um, three quarters of an inch underneath where the placket ends. So that's about half an inch, I guess. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fold it in half this way. And I am going to cut it down the back. And I'll show you why in just a moment. And so this is going to be the front of my pocket. So I think it's really cute this way. So um, one thing I'm going to do, and I'll show you that too, um, I want to sew this seam down just so it stays tight. You know, have if you have something in the pocket, it won't there won't be a chance of it falling out because the seam's open. So the first thing I'm going to do is sew down the seam, and I'm also going to sew down the front of the shirt to you know put the shirt around your neck and see where you want it to, the opening to come to. I usually like it to come to the second button and I'm going to sew down this seam so that the shirt doesn't um, come undone when you're wearing it. I'm going to do the same thing with the other pocket because I want to have two pockets on this shirt, on this apron. And I'll line them up and make sure they're even and everything before I sew them on. So the same thing. Just put it together. Kind of find the center back of it. And cut it open. And this is going to make adorable pockets. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pin these in place and I'm going to press them because there's these little pleats right here. I don't want my pocket to flare out like this. I want it to be kind of straight. So the, what I'm going to do is take my pins and get my pins and I'm going to pin it 
I'm going to make like pleats in the bottom of it to go kind of match where the pleats are at the top. And I'm going to press it all in place so that it looks nice and straight. So I'm going to press all of that in place like this. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to fold in the sides, press these sides down, press this seam under, and press it under on all sides. And I'm going to um, pin it in place. I'm going to do a slip stitch to hold the pleats in place, and then I'm going to um, fold it under and press it and then I'll apply it to the shirt. So I'm going to do that real quick on both sleeves. So we'll get them nice and pressed and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I have pressed my pockets and now I'm ready to place them on the shirt. I'm just going to place them right here on the front. I'm going to line them up so they look even. And I'm going to pin them on. I'm going to pin them on right there. And then I am going to take my tie backs and I'm going to fold them back about an inch. And I am going to pin them on to the front of the shirt. And I'm going to sew an X. And that will really reinforce it so these tie backs will never come off. So I'll just pin this one back on this side. And then what I'm going to do is it's time to decorate it. I think I want to pull these up a little bit higher so they're not too close to the bottom, or touching the bottom. And then it's time to decorate. So I have some black rickrack, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew the black rickrack and make a border around the pockets all the way around like this. So that will really embellish this and make it look really cute. And then I'm going to embellish the pocket. So I'm going to sew this top pocket. I'm going to sew the rickrack right there across the front of the pocket. And then the other thing you could do is you could sew a line of rickrack or even glue it with a hot glue gun all the way down and cover the buttons on the front. I think that might be getting to be maybe a little too much rickrack, but we'll see how it goes. So I'll be right back after I sew these things. Okay, so my apron's almost finished. I've got the pockets sewn on. I, set, I sewed on the rickrack trim around the pockets. I sewed on the tie backs. And you know, if you didn't want to make these tie backs, you could use a ribbon or something decorative. <clears throat> so now I'm going to do, I'm going to glue on for the final step. I'm going to glue some Rick Rack trim down the center just to add a little more cuteness, decorative trim to the front. So, I'm just going to do a line of glue, working a little bit at a time, and go all the way down from the top to the bottom. And I'm going to glue right over the buttonholes.
the button. You want to try to do as thin a line of glue as possible. Almost done. Just be careful with your glue gun and you don't burn your fingers. It's real easy to do that. And there it is. It's done. The last thing I'm going to do is add my little flower pin to the front. I'm going to pin it right on the pocket. So I think it'll just look really cute there. Okay, and there's the finished product. Cute, very cute apron. It's going to cover really good, protect your clothes really good. I use these aprons uh, mostly in my painting classes, but it'll be a shame to get any paint on this one because it's so cute. This is DIY Diva. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you next time.